Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah back with a project share. I had last night actually, I just finished this, but I was so tired and I couldn't put the video up, so I'm doing it this morning. So, this is, and I'm not sure about my lighting today because it's really bright outside, but it's kind of dark in here, so hopefully it does turn out okay. Um, I have this fabric that I got from my mom when she gave me a whole bag of different fabrics. And I think it's almost, it's, it's sheer. Um, and it's like a crushed material. Like it looks like it's all wrinkly, but that's actually the way it is. But it, it was sort of thin. So when I did the cover, um, I actually sewed down two pieces just so it wasn't so see-through. And then on the bottom of the two pieces, I backed it with some other material. This, I don't know what it is, but it's like kind of, it's almost like feels like a felt material, but I put that on the base just so you couldn't see the cardstock um, through this material. So it is a TN size, so measures eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is some of that uh, new lace that I just received that I did the haul video on. And um, it is just wrapped around. It's not attached or anything. So that way, if you want to take it off, you can. Just like we're going to do right now. So, as you can see, this one, I did actually put stuff inside it. So it is a little chunky right now. And the paper collection I used was... Let me see, where is it? You know what? Let me grab it. This was one of the paper pads that I got um, when I went shopping at Michael's on Black Friday. It's the Woodworks paper pad by Recollections. And all of the different, actually you can see the papers on the front, but they're all basically like wood themed paper. And um, I did make, I did make something with it a while back, um, a larger journal, I believe. But then since then I haven't really, I kind of forgot about it. I haven't brought it out to you. So I said, you know what? The outside cover's green and brown and green sort of go together. So I brought that paper out to use in this journal. So on the inside, I backed it with some of the pattern paper. And um, here I have a little tag that I made. I put a little writing spot on the back so you can journal on the back of that. And then here I just made a pocket and here's some of that same material from the front. I just gathered it up to make a ribbon. Some lace behind that. And then I used one of the little wooden buttons I also got on my last haul. And I have some ledger paper here. It's not vintage. I don't think so. It doesn't look old. But it was fun. So I put that in. I have some coffee dyed notebook paper here. And then here I have the next little pocket and um, I made some tags. So the front side is all the off cuts of the pattern paper that I used. And on the back, I backed it with um, tea dyed paper. And here's another tag that I made and a little writing spot on the back. And then I just put a little burlap trim on the top as the tag topper. And that slides right back down in there. And then I did a little bit of layering, not really layering, but on um, here. So I have that material again. I cut out a square of it. And then this was one of the little, what is this, two by two, three by three, two by two squares that uh, came as like little cutouts from the collection. Like they had little, oh, there's the antlers. So I wanted, there was a bunch of them and I wanted to do something. So I put this one here and I like, I use this one because you could almost write something on here. If you had a dark pen or marker, you could write on there. Um, so it acts like a little journaling spot. And then added three little vintage buttons, of course. I also made three envelopes and um, I was watching a video by... Oh gosh, what is her name? Danielle Rose. And she makes um, 
she had made these long cards and somebody had asked her, do you make your envelopes for the cards also? And she said she did. And she, so she made a little video about how she created these envelopes and they're, they're tall and they're skinny. And so what I did was inside, well, this one actually has an off cut of the ledger paper, but I thought it was a perfect journaling spot. So you could write a long little note or a letter and then tuck it back it down inside or you know you can put whatever you want inside and then it'll just clip right back on so some more ledger paper here i put more of the little um scrap of the fabric and then i added a button right on top and this one was my favorite um this is kind of like you know it looks like maybe a a bench or maybe a picnic table or something but carved into it you plus me forever but it's actually embossed so when you run your fingers over it you can feel it which I thought was kind of cool so that was in there and then on the back this is um, tracing paper that I tea stained and then when you flip it up you can see and actually you might not be able to see sort of you can see how it comes through but I thought you could put a nice little love note or something under it and keep it private. And then I just sewed on some fabric to the top. And I do really apologize for the lighting because I'm looking through the camera and it looks pretty dark. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm flipping through. So some more tea stain tracing paper. And this one we have a little pocket here and another tag with the tea stain paper on the back and then I made a little paper ruffle there not I'm sorry not paper ruffle um, fabric ruffle and here is another one of the envelopes and inside this is some more of the paper and blank on the inside so you could um, definitely journal in here or put some pictures because the cardstock is heavy put whatever you want inside and then, then slips back in there but I do like the size of these envelopes because they're tall and skinny it's perfect for these size journals because the journals are also sort of tall and skinny so those those work very well and then another pair of tags with um, the tea stain paper on the back it tucks right into there and then here we have the middle of the signature and I made this tag here and I just, so here's three of the little squares, layered them up, added some of the material behind, and then just a little button collage on the bottom. And of course, you know, I just put the stuff in places where you can tuck stuff, but you don't have to um, put them where I put them. You can move them around, you can take them out, whatever you want to do. And here is the third little envelope. And again, just like the other one, blank paper or blank cardstock on the inside, so you can write on there. And then that goes back down and attaches right back on. Another one of the pockets with the um, fabric there. And then I just made a little bookmark. And um, the pages that I used, to, I made a bunch of bookmarks because I like them and I've been giving them to my family because they're pretty avid readers and they read actually still from the library. So they're checking books out all the time. So I made some from them and they, they love using them. So I started making more. The problem was I bought another book and um, when I was in the store, it was actually from Dollar Tree. I flipped through a few pages and I read them just to make sure, you know, the content was okay. But like my luck always has it, I got home, coffee dyed a bunch of them, or tea dyed a bunch of them, and as I was putting them together, I noticed there are some inappropriate things on them, like swear words or, you know, just inappropriate stuff that shouldn't be on there. So what I did was, for a bunch of them, I painted over any parts that shouldn't be there. That way, it serves two purposes. I mean, if you're using it as a bookmark in a actual book great but also if you did want to keep it in a journal this is a little spot to journal on rather than oh, you can't really journal on here well on this one you probably could you know there's space there but 
normally you can't but with the paint on it now you can so that's why those are painted to hide anything that's not really made for everyone's eyes but also to serve as a little journaling card some more of the tea stains tracing paper graph paper notebook paper and I actually um, this notebook paper is new when I was at the Dollar Tree I got a composition notebook because I noticed when I opened up the spine it's all sewn in not glued so when I came home I just opened the book I ripped um, the bottom couple of stitches and I pulled out the the thread and then it leaves huge sheets of paper so I coffee dyed them or tea dyed them and oh that's supposed to be there I guess um, and here's just a little it's not a tuck spot or anything it's just a little layering of different things I have a doily I put down and then this is some of the tracing paper I just ruffled up and did a stitch through and then one of the little heart uh, wooden hearts and this one matches the other one we saw earlier so we have some more of the fabric and then a little oh my gosh can we even see this a little butterfly on top there's the back side of the ledger paper so it's a nice empty space to write but you can also write on this side as well and this one flips out and I have just a little tuck on this side I don't have anything on this side but you can put whatever you want in that side so it's a double tuck but also plenty of room if you want to journal about what you're tucking into here you can also do that And some more of the composition notebook paper other side of the ledger paper and that flips open for plenty of journaling and in the back I've made this little little flip notebook uh, with the off cuts of some of the paper so you know you can write whatever you want down in there and it's like you don't have to keep this in the journal if you don't want to you can take it out and use it in your purse you can use it on your desk but I mean I I didn't want to waste all the paper, so I like to try to, <clears throat> excuse me, incorporate any offcuts into the journal. So that does tuck in there, and here is a little back pocket. Another one of the little squares cut out, little fabric there with the wooden heart and some lace. So you can tuck that in, but you don't actually have to keep it in because it's a little chunky. And then the back page. So this is already up on my, or up in my Etsy shop. If you are interested, the link to my Etsy will be below in the description box. And um, like always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. If you have any comments or questions, definitely leave them below. And I will see you next time. Bye.